you know, just because you're um, and I may be at peace with someone relationally, maybe we had an issue, maybe we had an argument, maybe we had um, a breakup, a separation, or whatever it may be, just because we are now cool with that person and the issue has been resolved, as it were, doesn't mean that they are still not toxic towards you. I say this because I often have observed people that when they come through the other side of a breakup or a disagreement or a dispute or a confrontation that got particularly difficult or nasty or awkward um, or offensive um, and, and move on beyond that and then make the mistake of starting to hang on with that person again, let's meet for a coffee, let's have dinner, let's hang out, not thinking that there is still toxicity in that relationship, in, in the system of that relationship. And just because you are now okay with each other based on the thing you kind of made peace about does not mean that they are not still not toxic towards you. And it is that toxicity that you expose yourself to again that continues to make that relationship um, unhelpful and in fact a complete hindrance to your life. And it's confusing to you and to them because you know that you don't have that issue anymore and think that that means it's a green light to carry on as you were before. But toxicity outlasts issues. Toxicity remains after the air has been cleared and the peace has been made. It's still possible for that toxicity to linger and to affect you even though you don't have evidence of why it should. Um, because toxicity goes underground and lingers uh, in our lives. Um, and so the best thing to do is to be aware of that and to avoid trying to make good, avoid trying to make amends, avoid trying to get back in someone's good books, avoid trying to overcompensate uh, by trying to arrange time together, do things together, keep in touch because just because you resolve the issue does not mean it's still not toxic. So add that to your sort of wisdom skill, relational wisdom skill in life, and I think it will save you a lot of grief um, without knowing that little bit of wisdom that I found out the hard way. <laughs>